And this is one of the famous fakes in the tribal art. Dear friends of the Neonubian art and culture, this is Ingo from about Africa and the rest of the world. And today I'm in Kloster Schweigelberg. This is in Vilshofen near Passau in Bayern. And the reason for this is they do have a very interesting Africa museum. So let's go inside. And now I'm here. And let's start with a short view of the, of the museum inside. You know, it was more or less the collection of Rudi Schwarz. It's a collector from Berlin who uh, gave this to the uh, museum, which is a monastery, to the museum. And uh, you see there's a lot of pieces there. And it's cra really great to, to look at the objects to see what they have. Here is something very interesting. This is Manfred Zierngiebel. For 20 years he took care about the museum, did a lot of good things. But however, there are some rumors that, yeah, he took some objects out and, and sold them. Just rumors, but yeah, it's more than gossip. It's yeah. Here's the two fantastic great body masks from the Yoruba, from whatever Benin or maybe it's it's Nigeria. And if you see in the middle, yeah, yeah, they can look through it, and it's really nice thing. And it's not art, but they are fantastic. That's the point, really. The this Yoruba style with the eyes and things like this. I think it's from the Gaelic cult. Here's some things, and this is so interesting. You know, you have the between create and fake, fake objects all the time. Here's from, for example, the Bamana, the Bambara, which I do not trust fully, not at all. And yeah, it's from Africa, you can see it. But that's a point we can discuss. On the other hand, you have here an, an, whole, an, an Igbo from the northern Igbo. We know this, the, the, the southern Igbo are more rounded. This is the northern style, and I like it a lot. It's not the great object, it's not the masterpiece, but it's a it's a good one, and I think it's an authentic one, and it's really one of those who came to to Germany in the sixties, in the seventies, more than seventy. He have, uh, yeah, I think it's been in a foreign object, great things, nice things. You have some weapons you come to later, and here two good Euro objects. I really like the one. I like the one in the middle, but I. I prefer the one on the right. And this once again, I think this is an authentic object. And you, know, you really have a mixed bag in this collection between authentic things and not authentic things. And as I told you before, it might be, this is awesome. It's really awesome. And it might be that, that uh, Tsengi built, he took some objects out, but I come to him later. He's a it's a body mask from the, I think, Yoruba. And yeah, of course, a lot of class. You know, it's really interesting to be here. And maybe you can do some comments and, and look at the minutes and stop it and say, do the comments saying whether you think this is a authentic one or it's not a, a authentic one, which is just made for the market. I think this is maybe a little strange, but it might be on the, the I don't trust the one on the left. So this is really, a, it's, it's a crate of fakes game all the time. Here some more things which I yes, I think the Gelemas are fine. For me are fine. So this is yeah you can really find some, some good objects here from the Congo one where I do have some problems with it. But yeah that's again really it's such a mixed bag. It's fantastic here. Yoruba pearl thing and and yeah you can find everything there. You know it's a mon monastery and there's a nice hotel you can sleep there and you can there's a night restaurant it's really nice to for, for good weekend to come to schweikelberg you know schweikelberg it's uh, near passau once again here it's one good whether this yeah i i like it and we were there with the with the group of and here's some some things for our our cross river uh fans yeah, maybe it's from the 50s, maybe the 60s, maybe the 30s, this echo. I don't know. I don't trust this one so much, but maybe it's, it's, it's an authentic one. But once again, this is a museum where you can go and you ha can discuss about the objects. And that makes it very interesting. And it's a nice one. It's, <laughs> you can go there and, and this one is, hmm, I don't know, but maybe once again, maybe it's maybe from the 50s. I think it's not from the 20s or, or in a very early piece. Piece here are some objects where once again this ma some mask where I don't fully trust, but it's just my opinion. Maybe you think that it's much better. And here is on the, yes, here more. 
and on the left side this is this is a ibu but the southern ibu you know more round i think the hand is new and maybe the face is new but here what says the camera here looks nice it's a little strange with all this on things but, but yeah okay nothing else against it then you have more <laughs> more a lot of once again weapons i think woody schwarz yeah they had a lot of weapons there and this bees and so it's not my cup of tea and here's some more objects which where i would say for example if i look at the kotar you know my relationships to kota but this is i would say mm, i don't know but maybe it's the best kota in the world maybe it is so this is yeah this is it's good to learn something it's to discuss things something this museum is <laughs> i really i like it a lot and here once again an object where you say hmm what is it is it something for real hmm and uh, i don't trust this congo <laughs> fetish of course of the diombe no but mm, yeah but you know there's everything inside the museum for example this this mask the copper mask which is no okay but the weapons seems to be nice but i don't know nothing of weapons and here's some more things and i don't believe here's a nice sukuma you know on the left the, the from uh, tanzania it's not a masterpiece but i think it's an honest one from east africa from tanzania here the sukuma where you can use it yeah it's really sukuma it's written sukuma and then on the left you see the kuba things and there's some panda where once again these panda and and objects hmm and here is it's <laughs> and an ambeta where i would say hmm okay but uh, what we have else you know there's so much objects to see which i think is great here is uh, a wannabe uh, <laughs> bangbar queen but okay everything's there now we're in cameroon once again a bangwa where i said okay i know the original on the other hand i think the posts they are well done and i guess they have uh, some some age i think they're really yeah i think they're authentic that's the point yeah these cameroon posts posts are great and here is a picture of two very very similar posts here and with a charming lady and there are some more objects from cameroon i <laughs> I think this is not Fumba, but other. Um, let's see. But no, I. For example, this this copper a strange mask on the right side is a little strange. Other things are strange too. But okay, you can see it, and that's that's really nice. And besides masks and sculptures, they do have a lot of other things. They have a lot of weapons. And here I know nothing of weapons, but it's nice. But here you see this copper thing, and this is one of the famous fakes in the tribal art. You know, this is a Vogelkopf messer, a bird head knife from Gabun. And the story is that uh, there was an Austrian blacksmith, a great blacksmith called Tilman Hebeisen, and he has made a lot of African weapons, weapons, because Ziengiebel came to him and said, please do some weapons and and Zengibel later sold them and he sold them for a lot of money and the point is that Zengibel was the expert let's say for uh, traditional African weapons in Germany and of this copper thing this coater mask a coater uh, knife I think there were five or six uh, made and they were sold for a lot of money <laughs> and you can read about it in an article I wrote for Kunst in Context in German and based on my article and based on the research of Wolf Dieter Mirsch, Ethan Ryder made an article in Tribal Art Magazine. So this was one of the famous copper knives. Here's some more <laughs> objects. If you're a collector of weapons, you could say whether it's good one or not good one, if that's great one, but I think most of them are authentic. You know, the, the Smith, he did a lot of things for for hip eisen you know this hip eisen made a lot of things for zirngebel that's what he told me but uh, i think they are yeah the these objects here are honest and after this lot of weapons you have some more things and it's yeah dormants the door things uh, accessoires bracelets and so on so it's really something to look and i hope you had some fun I hope maybe you one day you can find the time to go there and 
at the end, thanks for Roberto Domingos that I could use the name of his Facebook group, which is great and fake, for this video. So this is a nice thing. This is a nice museum and it's worth being there for, let's see, a weekend. And what says the cameraman? Cameraman says, see you next time. Bye.